If we do not abide in prayer, we will abide in temptation. A person who is truly born again in spirit through their faith in Jesus Christ must be drawn to and attracted to prayer. For a prayer is a spiritual activity. It is of God. A prayer is fellowshipping with the Lord, seeking His face. It is time when God changes our hearts. It is time when God fills us with Himself. Because prayer is of the Lord and it is the work of the Holy Spirit, it goes against the things of the flesh. So it's natural that you lose your zeal for prayer when you start to love the things of the flesh. If we do not abide in prayer, we will abide in temptation. A person who is truly born again in spirit through their faith in Jesus Christ must be drawn to and attracted to prayer. For a prayer is a spiritual activity. It is of God. A prayer is fellowshipping with the Lord, seeking His face. It is time when God changes our hearts. It is time when God fills us with Himself. A person who is of the flesh cannot pray as he ought to and cannot please God, for he is, for his heart is far from God, born as an enemy of God. We were of the flesh. We are those who hated God. We are sinners who deserve to go to hell. But in the midst of our agony, we found Jesus Christ and we put our faith in Him. He became our Savior. He became our righteousness. And when we heard and believed, the Holy Spirit came to us and we were born again. And when we were born again, our hearts and our minds were changed. And now our state that was of the flesh has been moved to the Spirit. When our hearts and our minds are changed by the Holy Spirit, He makes us love God. He makes us love Christ. And when you love Christ, you will pray. That's why you can find out that when you become lukewarm, your prayers will diminish. And that's why a born-again Christian must pray and will pray. Therefore, a Christian living without a prayer is like a Christian living without the air. He is walking, but he is walking dead. Whenever there was an awakening or revival throughout the history, there was also the restoration and rise of worship and prayer. So prayer is like breathing to us and it's so important to born again believers. If we do not pray, we will fall down and fall into temptation. If we do not pray, the devil will come as a roaring lion to devour us. But even as a born-again believer, sometimes a Christian can lose his zeal for prayer and I'm going to explain you today why that happens and how to be restored from that state. First, a born-again believer will lose his zeal for prayer, as I have mentioned before, when he starts to love the things of the flesh, the love of the world. It's simple as this, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. Because we're living in this flesh, we, we have weakness that falls into temptation. That's why Romans 8 says this. 
If the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. So then, brothers, we are debtors not to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are led by the spirit of God are sons of God. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know what to pray for as if out, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. When there is love of the world within us and love for the things of the flesh, it is natural that we lose our zeal and love for the things of God and the work of God. That's why when your heart is hardened by sin, you have no power and strength to do the work of God and to pray. So therefore, as the Lord had called the churches in Revelation to repent from the things that they have fallen, we also have to repent of what we have fallen from. Is it your greed? Is it your pride? Is it your jealousy? Is it your love for the money? And when you come to the Lord, seek His face and seek His help. Holy Spirit will help you to overcome the flesh. This is 100% true. I have never witnessed in my life God failing His children when they seek His help according to His will. But we need patience and patience comes from faith. And that's why we need the knowledge of the Word of God because the knowledge of the Word of God brings faith. I tell you again, if you are born again Christian, you may have tasted the things of heaven. You may have tasted the joy of Christ that cannot be compared with the world. But you will lose them if you compromise your love of the world with God. So you have to repent and come back to the Lord. Second, a believer will lose their zeal for prayer when they are pushed too much on the care of the world. When they're worried about the world too much what to eat what to wear where to sleep how to live all these things but i tell you you don't have to seek in as a world way you don't have to be worried to please men god is the one who judges you god is the one who will provide you he is such a good father and every man will stand before god so you don't have to worry about men's reputation but see what god will do Focus on God's character. Saul, King Saul, fell from the love of God and zeal for his worship because of the fear of men and his care for his popularity and popularity and reputation of men. This is why we must deny ourselves and carry our cross daily. And also this is why we must seek the Lord all the time because we know that we cannot handle these, th these minds with our own power and strength. But there is definitely the love and joy that the world cannot understand and know within the children of God who seek His face. Third, a believer will lose his zeal for prayer when he is under a great trial and persecution. When, when somebody is under a trial and a persecution, at first he will pray because he is going through a hard time. However, uh, when there is lack of faith, uh, and trial continues, he will stop praying because he becomes so disappointed. This is why, again, we need the, the knowledge of the Word of God because to continue praying until the very end, we need faith. I, throughout the history and around my life, I've seen people who pray until the very end and their prayers are always answered if it is according, in accordance with the Word of God. Faith comes from hearing. And so that's why we need to go to the word of Jesus. Beloved, how we pray shows how much we love God. Our prayer life represents our spiritual condition, our relationship with the Lord. There will be great void and depression without seeking God's face in our lives. No fruits of the Holy Spirit if we do not abide in prayer. It is time that you must restore the zeal for prayer. You have to come back. And I pray that God's grace will restore you. He will finish the good work that he started.